Hey guys, it's Corey here at Syndicate MMA. Welcome to another edition of the Tough 23 blog. On this week's episode, we saw Corey had to pull out of his fight. Um, I thought he was going to end up fighting because he's super tough and he'll push through anything, but um, last minute he decided it wasn't in his best interest to take the fight. So, uh, you know, it was a tough decision, but that's how it had to be. At the end of the day, it ended up being a pretty easy decision for me to make. Um, I knew from pretty early on with the injury that I probably wouldn't be able to fight, and if I did, it'd probably be a bad idea. But I had a month between my fight with Khalil and the semifinal fight, so I thought that would be some time to heal, and I wanted to at least give myself a chance to heal and hopefully fight. Uh, my coaches were trying to get me to pull out for the fight for a while, but ultimately, I wanted it to be my decision, not theirs. When I got my semifinal matchup with Josh, I hadn't really been training much up to that point, just hitting kind of one-handed pads and stuff. And then I go to do just, really just some shadow sparring with my coach, Rafael. We were just kind of moving around, not really even touching each other, just kind of going through the motions and stuff. And uh, he lightly grazed me on the chin with a punch, and I felt like, I felt some pain and numbness start in my neck and shoot down through my shoulder, into my arm, and out to my finger. And as soon as I felt that, I like stopped and I was like, you know, that's not good. That doesn't, doesn't feel good at all. That doesn't feel right. Uh, I was still kind of stupid about it. And I was like, oh, maybe it's a one-time thing. So I just quit training for the day, came back the next day, same exact thing happens. And then it kind of really sunk in then that like, this is a serious neck injury. This could affect me long-term. I don't want this to ruin the rest of my life. So I'm going to do the smart thing. I'm going to pull out and put my long-term health ahead of this fight. On this episode, we had the coaches challenge and when we pulled up, we saw all this dirt and these tractors and we thought it was going to be something to do with that. But then we see these huge tanks and, and these big, you know, dropping contraptions and uh, we weren't really sure what to expect, but it ended up being a really cool challenge. And um, obviously my team lost, so that really sucks, but it was still a fun time. Up to that point, uh, Red Team hadn't won anything yet. It was it had to be kind of rough for them because, you know, we'd won all the fights. Uh, and then we go on and we win this coach's challenge and we get extra money. And one of them actually pointed out that at that point they still hadn't even won so much as a coin toss on the show. So... I mean, it was. It had to be a little rough for them, but from Blue Team's perspective, it's great. You know, our our team continues our winning streak, and we get more money. So that's always a good thing. It was funny seeing Dana Dana up there being so stressed and scared because you know normally he's the one in charge. He's the one giving orders and yelling at people and stuff like that. But he got up there and he was genuinely scared. It wasn't so much the water, but uh, I guess the heights and. He, he was freaking up there for quite a while before he eventually got dunked, but it was uh, pretty entertaining to watch, and I'm glad I got to see it. This week we saw Eric Spicely and Andrew Sanchez fight. Um, I know Eric was struggling with having to fight a friend in the house, so I think mentally he was already a little bit uh, messed up, not all there, you know, for this fight. He, he knew what he could and couldn't do against Andrew, and... Um, I think you know he let it get to his head. So once he got in there, he he ended up getting finished pretty quickly. You know they went out there and uh, they're moving around for a little bit. Spicy looked a little bit gun shy. Uh, Andrew hit him with a big overhand and then a uh, head kick after that, I think, and then pretty much just swarmed him. And Spicy didn't really have an answer for it. And Andrew got a quick win. It was kind of tough for both of them because you know they're good friends and teammates and all that stuff. So you know. You never want to see someone you like lose, so that's a little bit tough, and it's a little bit bittersweet, but at the end of the day, it's either him or you, and you got to go in there and you got to take care of business. If you go out there and lose to your friend just because he's your friend, that's not going to help you in any way. That's only going to hurt you, and that's really just that's really just being doing a disservice to him. You know, at the end of the day, you both want to go in there, do your best, and find out who the best really is. So the next matchup is uh, Amanda Cooper versus Lanchana Green. Uh, they're both pretty much strikers, but I think uh, Amanda has a little bit more of a ground game, so I think if she gets it to the ground, then it's going to be her fight. We were pretty excited going into this because we knew it was going to be a good fight. Uh, Amanda's got a, a boxing background, but she's pretty well-rounded. You know, she works on her ground a lot, and uh, Lanch is great Muay Thai and also is uh, improving her ground game, and it's come along quite a bit, actually. So we thought this would be a pretty even matchup, and we were looking we were looking for a good fight out of it. We thought it was going to be pretty much a stand-up war, and uh, it does not disappoint. Thank you for tuning in here at Syndicate MMA with MMA Junkie for the Tough 23 blog. If you'd like to give us a follow, we're on Twitter at Syndicate MMA. I am Love Boat Jamie on Twitter. We also have my teammates at War Khalil and Corey H. MMA. Have a great day.